Oi sangi che dan soge sonam la chancho bardo dane kapso che dagi chinso kebe sonam tola penjer sangi to barai sho semje damje dewat devi ke dan de bra ke che dongal dan dongai ge ke dan chalai ge Dunga me be dewa thamba da me chao rai gyur che nghe re cha da nghe da cha da gyam che bu e ngha la ne parai gyur che Thang ki tu jeng e so ne ta wa tham che pang che chir Tham bhi chun ni tuyn se be gao tham de la kui cha sa O mi che ki nghe po ra na di sum sa ki kong ki ngho wa nghe Ra sum che kong e sum tuyn se be cha bhi la me shal du kui cha sa she yul ko ma nam la ku cha ngon to ta ni ta di ri ngi chu di ya ta khe sang ngi chu di le ta mi thi ni xue yi ni khe sang ngi ni ta chu di ngi ka pla ni ngar an su ngi de ta le gin de le gin de di ya ta ji ta ra ma bo ye bin nang ni ani ji do ni ta ngar an su ta chi nang ngi ngo bo kang da kang yi na ya cha zang ani Rangyu ngama nye liyam. Lienji jigin la ra li ni. Di yi di wu. Ke ba. Shata chi re ma to be ge. Di di ge ni. Gyu mi. Ke mi. Chi ge ni. Ngobu chi yorwe. Di wu chi chung tap chi yorwe. Sena. Chung ta yom mari. Sena ni. Ke zang. Ma rang su ge ta chi. Ta chi yi ngobu ta. Nang ge ngobu. Cha zang ge ni. Ta chi. Ta cha zang sena. Ta bisu yi kashi chi ro. Ta di di chi ni. Ta chi. So today I would like to continue uh, with what I was talking about yesterday and that is on the topic of cause and effect, karma cause and effect. So as we have uh, gone through yesterday, all the uh, experiences that we have, everything that we experience are uh, based on the cause and subtle causes and effect. So in general, all the outer and inner uh, phenomena that we experience in this life uh, have their causes. All of them have come from some causes in the past. None of them do not have any cause at all. This is the, the only way it is. This, this, is the, this is just how it is. And uh, so we are going to look at this uh, topic of cause and effect in general and we'll try to cover as much as possible about this matter. ตั้งอารันสุเคซังตั้งอารันสุตั้งมีสุกิชานี่สุกจิตตั้งเชบะรอจิตเป็นบุรีงูกิบิสุกจิตตั้งสัลริกิยานี่งูกิบิเชบะ
ndilani sangi la so gi so di ke yo mari ka ji go ro ro tukyo sa ro lu sem ta de du cha sa ri che sa an ta da din de yin ba yin sa ta da ngar an so la ani lu ye ba ma se de lu ye ba la de ba nam shi di an de ba yin sa ngan so la ta da sangi ta ji na so ji yong gi ro che sa an din de la ni ngar an so gi ta ji ta ji ngan so ta jo wa sem ji su da su yin ya che sa an gi ani ta Dehedi deware ina yang ta tinde tungal pa ma na so ba che ngan zo nyong gi yore es ro che zang ta in tungal na so ba che nyong ba di ani ta ngan zo nyong dang nyong shim ba re ina yang ta nyong gi yo na yang di kawa ni yong gi do tungal kari re do lai di she di ha chang gi ge shim bu cha di gi yore So, uh, regarding all the outer and inner phenomena that we are experiencing, uh, for example, uh, what we are going to talk about is by using uh, various examples. And uh, the main topic that we need to know is that from yesterday we have discussed that we are composed of uh, the body and mind. And this mind is what we have said to be a clear and cognizing uh, entity. It's something that is clear and cognizing. So what we have here is the what is made of matter, which is the body is just mere matter. And then there is the other uh, component, which is the mind, which is the opposite of that. And between these two, what we really need to understand is the mind. And for the mind, what we, the main uh, topic, the main point we need to understand is that what is the main cause of the mind? What is the principal cause of the mind? Now, the nature of the mind is something that always continues. And even though when we pass away, the body will become what we call a corpse. And then the body will be gone, but the mind will still continue. So uh, then what happens is that then the mind will experience uh, the stages of uh, dying and the bardo and the rebirth as we have discussed yesterday. And this is a, a continuous experience without any interruption. This is an ongoing experience without any interruption whatsoever. Therefore, uh, now that we are still alive, we have no choice but to experience good and bad experiences that we are feeling through the mind. And this is because the mind is always continuous. And so this kind of experience will always happen to us. And the body, once it's uh, passed away, once we have passed away, becomes just a mere, uh, what we call, dead matter, and you will be gone. And the body and the mind will go separate ways. The body can't feel anything, and only now we can feel something is because our body still has a mind, and that is why we feel everything as if we are feeling them through the body. We can experience uh, good and bad experiences uh, going up and down throughout our life. The good and bad experiences uh, take turns to come back and forth throughout our life. Everyone, however, only wants happiness, but not suffering. But if this is the case, if we want to get what we want, we need to examine our mind and to know where it's coming from, where it's going to, and what it is. What is the nature of the mind? This is the most important thing that we need to understand. Oh, da. Today, since I am around so good, da. Nam shi do gun do ba yin zang. I am around so good, da. Chik, da chik, da give it. Carbo give it, da. So nam give le ina ita. Ah, mi give it ani. Da le ina ita. Just am around so good. Today, I am around so good, da chik. Ah, uh, lu nga yi sumne ani jeshabe ki ta le 
Karina yang ro, jadi dah jadi orang tu le sah suli, ani dah lu ngah isum guna sajui de, dia ngompat jenar lah kan disun yuri jenar, dia ni sembang tercebas, sembah hiki le ino, dia ni lu dah ngah hiki le sin disun yuri ro, jadi orang tu sembah hiki le cik dang, ah dia cebal tu, sembah अनि लूंगा की ले ऐसे नहीं था ले देह सुम की कौन है तो ना ले गा ये सुम की अनि कौन है गा रांसो के नहीं ले अनि चिक कार्बो के भी की चुगी सोनम की ले ही नहीं था ना वो मिगे वो सोनम माहिं भी ले ही नहीं था जैसा गा रांसो की था दिन्दे ना सोचो छे बादी अनि ता चिक ता ता ना बस संगी भी शुना� di bahasa kewang kita siapa di gun macam apa kor di itu, di ini siapa di gun dah ngam dong orang tua ni tak kesi tak kewal lah itu sambal lah, ya di bahasa sana orang tua kita kalbu kiki lain aja, ah nak pun mikir lain aja, jadi kan dar kan le sabo, di dalam suatu begini ni macam tu dongal nyong aja, ah ni kap tu dewa nyong aja, jadi दुनिया दां देवासी ये दिया जो गुमे के में लेके वह मायन बचे रो जैसा दिया तिंडेगी सांगे देदोगी अरे ना सो अरे जो न्यू है कि छोटे दिन से ही ना यं रंगी नेले हम रंगी लेजी जगे चलते ने आराम से तिंडे रोशे अरे न्यू गियर रेस Now our mind uh, will always continue, and because of this, then whatever karma, whatever action we commit, whether they are virtuous uh, or what is it called meritorious action, either this or if we are committing misdeeds or sins, we are doing this through our three doors: the body, speech, and mind. And no matter how we do this, uh, this is a kind of uh, karmic actions. They are all karmic actions. Uh, this is explained in the Abhidharma uh, scriptures, that uh, no matter what we do through the body, speech, or mind, they are all, uh, the body will always follow the mind. They are whatever that the mind thinks, the body will follow the mind. And, uh, Therefore, whatever actions we accumulate, whether they are virtuous action, meritorious action, or they are sins or non-virtue, all these various actions that we accumulate, they, are, they will leave potentials in the subconscious mind, or what we call the alaya consciousness. And once the potentials are placed in the alaya consciousness by the actions, they will continue to be there and they will arise at some point. And each uh, of these potentials will arise according to the conditions that, it, that we meet with. And that this will in turn lead to uh, rebirth, we will be reborn. And uh, then depending on what we have accumulated in the past, what actions we have accumulated, whether they are virtuous action or non-virtuous action, then according to this previous accumulated experience, this, the present experience will just appear accordingly, exactly according to what we have accumulated. We will experience uh, suffering exactly according to the amount of non-virtues we have accumulated and in the same way we'll experience happiness amount amount of happiness according to the amount of virtues virtue we have coming we have accumulated and none of them uh, will happen without any cause that comes before it we can experience good and bad experience uh, through the conditions the present uh, condition that will trigger those uh, experiences. 
啊，那时给他关心给点多呢，八下几下，八下给王给呢，那么些给军当，这把钱呢，俺儿子那呢，第五军给热死，得给这些些的油了，这上第二，百姓就说呢，别那俺儿子开上一那样，俺就把四给给
they are, they are all due to the potentials we have accumulated in the mind. And when, for example, let's say when the person is born, we can see that uh, if we take some examples of the various places, let's say the person is born, there are many kind of places that a uh, person can be born. We, we can see that there are people who are born in uh, uh, great big places uh, with uh, very well developed, with uh, good education uh, around them, uh, possibilities of getting a good education. <laughs> Or there are some places where they are born are quite isolated, uh, they are underdeveloped, and the uh, economy is poor, and uh, it's a well run down place, it's not a good place. Or we can also, on the other hand, we can also see that there are also places who are even worse than that. Uh, some places are stricken with war, they are war torn places, a lot of fighting, and so on. And then uh, we can see also on top of that, on top of the various type of places that a person can be born, even uh, other things such as the mother, for example. There are many kinds of a mother we can be born to. Uh, we can see there are uh, many types of mother. Some are very uh, good, some are very loving, they are very kind-hearted. And while on the other hand, some do not have that much love. Some are not that rich, while some are very rich. So, for as far as we are concerned, uh, we can see that this is all uh, temporary happiness, but they are all various, they all vary from varying degree of happiness and various types of suffering. So, depending on Depending on the where, so depending on what the merits we have accumulated, they all will ripen throughout all the different process, uh, up to the womb, uh, with experiences in the womb and experiences of birth. All the potentials uh, will ripen according to the previous good and bad karma. For example, we can see now that. Uh, no matter what we experience now, whether they are pleasant or unpleasant experience, they just basically happen to us. We are bound to experience them from day to day, from time to time. We don't really have a choice to choose the experience, although we try, we want only good experiences, but we will always experiencing, we will always be experiencing up and down in our experiences from day to day, from time to time, from the experiences, the moment we have died in the past life, up to the bardo, up to this life, we are not free. We are always, if we examine properly, we are always living under the forces of karma, cause and effect. And this is because the experience we have are always ripening continuously for the potentials that we have accumulated in the past life. And this is the only thing we are experiencing. There is nothing else. Mm-hmm. Then Shiguri, 
ดิอ่ะรวมอยู่มาเด้เจซันขวายเกยินายังดิงาราสุกินรางกินอันนี้เลกิวังกินรางกินอันนี้จิกสนมกะริสานายังเจซันงาราสุกินตาดิปะเม
the mind is something that continues and we will sure be born at some point. We have, there is no certainty that we will be born as a human. But uh, wherever we are born, the force of karma will drive us to those uh, place of rebirth, to those six types of rebirth. We must, uh, we have no choice but to depend on this uh, force of karma. If we have accumulated a lot of heavy sins, a lot of heavy misdeeds, non-virtues, such as anger, then this, because due to the force of this uh, type of karma, we will no doubt uh, end up in hell. And on the other hand, if we have accumulated a different kind of non-virtue, such as miserliness, then it will this force, the force of this karma will drive us into the rebirth of hungry ghosts. And the same would apply for ignorance. Ignorance will lead to the birth as animal realm. If this is the predominant uh, karma that has been accumulated, then uh, we will end up as to be born as the animals. So, <coughs> this, then there are the three types of the higher realms that we that could be reborn in, the human, demigod, and the god realm. And if we have accumulated uh, virtues, then according to the types of virtues uh, we have accumulated, we will be born in those three higher realms. Uh, there is, this is due to the force of karma, we have no choice but to be reborn. This is the principle of the karma. And the karma that we have accumulated uh, is they are all accumulated through our three doors, body, speech, and mind. And it is due to the force of this karma. The force of the karma is that it will follow us throughout all our different states of existence. And what happens is that it will drive us up and down uh, through the from the higher realm to the lower realm, and it will drive us to into a cyclic form of existence. And this is what we call uh, samsara, cycling uh, from up to down, up to the higher form of existence, down to lower form of existence. So when we look at uh, how um, the karma work, uh, then in terms of the practicality of it, the karma is always accumulated uh, through the six, the, sorry, through the three doors. We, con we are always continuously accumulating the karma. And if we look at the, what we experience now in this case, for example, for example, let's say our present existence, uh, we, when we look at the cause of the karma that leads to our present existence, compared as, as a human being, when we compare the life of a human being to the other type of life forms, our suffering is less, especially when we compare to the lower realms, the, hu the animals, the hell being, and the hungry ghosts. We have less suffering compared to them. Although we still have uh, suffering in this life, but when we compare to those uh, experience that animals, for example, are experiencing, we are our suffering is much less than theirs. Now, to what Rick to Kinando, Kando, Kigan, and Tungal, some give me Kapachi, you read. And it was Rick Ranan, Ranangi, any chick leggy one gay, any Misha get a do Dungal, not so cheer body. Ayinaya, Chizung to some Yoro, Kachila Nangaran, Zunyomoya, Shechungi Wangi, and Dina Chichine, then Yongo, Tungal Dia, Shechu, Yuri. In Eda, me Wangi, Tangaran, the Joa, me Nanga Yoba Inza, then me Dungala Samotanaya, Tachi Tangaran Zuda, at the Kiwi Dungal, Gavi Dungal, Navi Dungal, Chiwi Dungas, and Timong with a Yonda, Chadi, the Dungal Langazo, Chick Tangle Deba Chang de Yuri. Inaya, Tangaranzu, Dungal Dilayan, Chick, Chick, Dijisamutansuna, 
Dongal Sumgi, Nandongazuda, due to be read. This Dongal Sum de Caridi, Sidi Sambala, Dongal Kitongal da Chick, Gurbe Dongal da Ni, Caba to Chicky Dongal Sinita, Dongal Sum, Mansuda, Dongal Sumgi, Nandu la Condu, Machibi, Dongal Zita, your Mari, Kandar da Maransuda, to a Mila, Giduinea, da Dongal Nasopa, Yonda Yon Shimbari, Jason di Dongaldi. Dumbachum din digan, Donana, Sumba Nashi chin. Dungal Shepherdcha, Sunyer Dangbody. Chesang Aransuki, Dungal di Caridito. Sedi, Tambo, Aransuki, Dungal di, Win Ziendi, Kishin Puchicha digere. De mine, Aransuki, that chick, Dungal Yonji, Sim Magi Bacha, Chikondo Salan, Chik Dubocha, Chikatuine, Chik, that chick, Miki Beranshi, Chila, Ro, Dewa, Chuma Toba, Dewa Top Matoba. Miki Beranshi, Chila Nigi, you read the di dongal re ziyadi maranzu kali habu ji cha de gure je san gimze di la tene tangbo maranzu dongal di moin jingo re so among the six types of uh, life that to be formed to be reborn in now that we are born uh, no matter where we are born sorry no matter where we are born among the six types of uh, life forms, we are bound to encounter uh, various types of suffering. Each of these six types of life form uh, comes with the different degrees of suffering that they individually experience according to the six different uh, bodies that one is taking within each of the six, six types of life form. And as far as we are concerned as a human being we of course will experience the human suffering and that includes the usual suffering of sickness old age and dying uh, but to categorize the uh, type of suffering they all can be included among the suffering of suffering suffering of change and pervasive suffering so all suffering can be included among this within these three types of suffering. There are no no other suffering outside of this. So in this human life, uh, the Buddha has taught, although there are various kinds of suffering, the Buddha has taught that we need to know the nature of suffering. We need to know what is suffering. So this is actually very important to be able to do this. Otherwise, uh, when we experience suffering, we will, if we do not understand what we are experiencing, if we do not understand what we are experiencing, then we will go through uh, frustration and angry, uh, we will get angry with our situation because we will get frustrated that we cannot get happiness. And if we keep on clinging to this uh, reality that we think that this is really the case, then it will be quite difficult for us to get out of this. Jason, any that well the motion but a chasuna any the carichuguri dungal ning on the digi or mari uh the to do ni public yuri raw tang as a young dung young shimba chatigiri. Ta dewa light it and nick up nick up chick ta uh that chatigiri mato bita mang chiva to di ta dungal rang chick young diuri. Jason that dungal the motion suna and the cancer digita, that Dungal Mushet Saviki Jella, and the Karichiguri Suda Sambala, and it, that the Bachum de Gia, and it Kunjum Pamar Cha, Sinsuri. Jesa, that Dungal di Dewucha de Giri, Jesa Sugi Dewri, La du Sambala, Kunjum de Bigi, Dona, Leda, Yomba, Sur. Jesa Ling Sabala Tene, Ro, Lingi Gucheba Latene, Dungal di. Young digi chadigi go tivuri. Jason gudi mena divudi yo maris and kezaya shubaroa. Jason tang haranzu divu dungal di mijun wiki tabdila. Ta kari gogore. Kari meba sogore lana. Dungal koran meba sue. Dungal koran dodochi meba suechi. Tapchi ke yo mari. Jason dungal meba subala. Maranzu gi midubigi. Dungal meba subala. And Haranzi Tambo, Susugi, Sasha Gugi, Ledang Yomongbadi, and it deep Pango Beauty. 
这三个零零四的三八的牛毛巴西国啊的牛毛王的雷萨西国的那个牛毛王的雷萨西国的那个牛毛王的雷萨西国的那个牛毛王的雷萨西国的那个牛毛王的雷萨西国的那个牛毛
the afflictions of the various negative uh, afflictions of jealousy and uh, anger. Uh, those are the ones that drives us to accumulate karma and leads, therefore they lead to suffering. So there are then uh, there are the karma, the afflictions, sorry, the afflictions uh, can be divided into the root afflictions or the secondary afflictions. But whichever they may be, whether they are the root afflictions or they are the secondary afflictions, uh, if we check our mind uh, from moment to moment, from one breath to the next breath, we experience a many kind of thoughts. Uh, many kind of thoughts uh, with your feelings that comes along with them. And this is what we call uh, afflictions. This is what we call affli mental afflictions or just afflictions. And it is due to the force of these afflictions in the mind that we experience from moment to moment. That it drives us to accumulate the karma. And as a result of all this karma that we accumulate, due to the force of this affliction, uh, then we will experience suffering. So what we really need to do is we need to recognize this suffering that we are experiencing. We need to understand and recognize them. And through this, then we can uh, examine the cause. Or else, if we do not have this understanding, if we don't understand this process of uh, how suffering is created by these various uh, afflictions and karma, we will continue to accumulate, we will continue to follow the afflictions and we will continue to accumulate the karma. And we will go through this cycle of this kind of uh, action throughout the daily life. Just so, like uh, sorry. So we need to know uh, the nature of this phenomena this phenomena within our mind and how they work. If we do not understand this, then we do not have a chance to be free of this process of accumulating karma through the afflictions. Do Lalla Tatinasuchi Dungal 
Cooking all the bougie laps, landing on the shitanke, chatoke, and chick, oh, coli, nile cosanga dosin, dilayachic, densemda, chatoda, the tinte, dosing around the chee, chee, number gilang and chick, la, nguenzinji, digidi, corangi chinere, digi chinere, landing around the zugutsu, digiuri, mato begi, the ding on the misheba, said the maripa, said the dinisle digiuri. Did it song in the chaggy or muddy? Ding around the gay, chick, low, mon chachi chat de gay. Marie biggy, she biggy, chick dangy chat de gay. Mama, Marazu, chichimba, tell that neighbor the carriage had the gay, said the Sambala, and he go dungal demba, good do dungal demba di, rangu, and he conjung demba, lay down your mom, one gay shag, shadaji, chat de gay. So in the Pramana Vatika, the treatise of valid condition, it is said that uh, no result will occur or arise if the causes are complete. Therefore, uh, we can see that actually, if we base on this text, all causes, all results can only occur when the causes are complete. Otherwise we will not get result. When the, all the causes are complete, the result will definitely happen. So whatever uh, causes we have accumulated, whatever karma and those that came from afflictions, the karma they have accumulated from affliction, uh, those that are accumulated in the past will surely lead to ripening. Uh, there are those uh, three types of poisons of uh, ignorance, attachment, and aversion. And each three types of that are, common, are always accumulated through our three doors. We are always accumulating them every single moment, every single minute, through our three doors of body, speech, and mind. Uh, whether we recognize or not is not the issue, it makes no difference, but we, as long as we do them, uh, this becomes the fact. But the problem is actually usually is that we don't uh, recognize them, and this is where the problem is. The various causes that we're accumulating, uh, we have already accumulated them, they are all done and over with, but, and then we, they will sure be, we will surely experience those results because the law of cause and effect is totally undeceiving. It is very straightforward. And this is why uh, various experiences, uh, we encounter various experiences in our life. We experience uh, things that we don't want to experience. We meet people or we meet uh, things that we don't want to see we don't want to, we don't like, and what we want to achieve, uh, they don't work out for us, they don't happen the way we want them to happen. Uh, we go through this kind of various different kind of results of, because they are results from our previous karma. But unfortunately, we tend to think that they come from something else, from somewhere else. Although they are only from, they only can happen because we have accumulated our karma, and not from somewhere else. We don't think that. We think that they are coming from somewhere else, and therefore we are always uh, looking at somewhere else for why it happened, why it didn't happen, uh, because we don't understand that the cause of our suffering comes from our accumulated karma. And therefore, then it leads to us feeling again and again repeatedly uh, angry at another person and another something else. We feel jealous about something else and we compete with another person. And we accuse uh, this and that person for our problems. We accuse something else for our problem. And this is because we don't understand 
the process of the law of cause and effect. And this uh, state of not understanding how it works, the cause and effect, is actually our own ignorance. This is the nature of ignorance. It makes us uh, caught up in this state of, uh, well, kind of stupidity. And uh, this is uh, actually what the fact is, is that everything that occurs to us is by our own hand, is by our own action. So it all includes in the first two noble truths, whatever that has been said so far, yeah, they all include in the truth of suffering and the truth of cause. Everything we experience, all well, the sufferings we experience are included in the truth of suffering, and all the causes that we have accumulated are included under the truth of cause. Lady Legundi <laughs> So as is said in the scriptures, um, we go through the process of accumulating karma and experiencing the results of karma. And uh, this is an undeceiving uh, process, the law of karma. If we have accumulated uh, good uh, causes, uh, good actions, we would no doubt experience good results. So whatever good actions we have done uh, through uh, whether it's helping others, uh, pleasing actions, uh, benefiting to others, we were experiencing the result accordingly. And in the same way, if we have accumulated any bad actions, we will no doubt experiencing the same type of uh, results. So this is the undeceiving uh, law of karma that we should uh, contemplate again and again if we want to stop the suffering that we are experiencing or we have been experiencing. Whatever we have experienced so far in the past, all the suffering we experienced in the past, they are all gone and there is not much we can do about them. However, we, if we were to ex contemplate the nature of these experiences and their causes, we can put a stop. We can practice and we can put a stop to the future suffering that we may experience. <laughs> Jesan 
गोदे थोबे योरे लाना में पति वे लम थोबे योरे मंचला रो जैसा दिख हादू थोबी रे ओना लादू संभला लम दे चिक आरांसो गीता चिक लम छे गेंबो रो तिंजो ता चिक गोम यामले छे यामले चिक चांजु के सेम संभो के या दिन आशे ने शिम्बे के लो के या चिक सेवे चिंग के लो के या ता तिंजो आरांसो के चिक खालो चिक Tak cik, siapa gigi tangi, ngoje cahdi gede. Jangan tinggi gigi lam samu tambe cila yang daba ngaran suki susun do. Ani cik teba cie, samba cie, gomba cie, sen tinggi cie ngaran suka lam la lopsona. Ani rimba rimba cie ni di lam dinsu ngembo do gurne ngaran suka la yebi. Ani cik kalau tak cik ledip naso dia ni. Ani Cita cita tu so ni, ani nam sih gigi cila, angaran sih gigi sahaja gigi ledang mimong ba, tiap naso cie ani lam gombe toble di dah tu ba cie na di tu ani angaran sih la ni dewi samboya, ro angaran sih gigi ani dewi gigi dewa di angaran sih la tobe gigi kalba cie yudri ma tobe dah cie tu kat tu i na ya, dongal nang nang jing de ya, dongal nang nyong dewi cie revers na cawu ni ne cai gigi mari. Maran tu ya, dongal di sini, deh gigu deh pangsona, tak kasar gigu la, kari yang mari, dongal yang marwa, kari sini, kogi gigu deh pangsar wa, gigu mana, deh bu di, nama yang aja yang marwa, gigu zat di lati ni, tak dongal di sini tu ber, negap tak karang kari cagi yang dia la, dewas wa, maran tu, wa, deh tu ni deh galwa cagi gula, kasar di gigu la dongal mana, kasar di gigu la dewa yang marwas, cezan ni tak. Tempat cuma dia ni gigian, dia ni terus ni ngaran sana ni. Tempat sih ni lam samu, si dia na yer, dia na mana nasi cina ni ngaran sana ni. Dia ni kita cik ni suatu ni sana ni tengah ni cie, lubang cie, cik tebal tan tan aku lagi ni. Di lain ni ngaran sana kumpa yang sur lang sana ngaran sana ni. Ani gu, dia dongal gigu yang tuh tap tang, ani ngundu cewa lam, cik dia gudeng ngundu cewa ham, dia ngaran sana dia wang ngundu cewa ham, cezang dia ni cie nam sih cie ni. Yudewaris, jadang di langgaran juga ni, cuma nanti, anjir tablam la dia na, anjir dongal dal je, anjir dewa tu begi, anjir kalba sambut je, anjir so yudewari. So therefore, we might wonder how it works when we will experience when the previous experience explanation that has been given are all on cause and result, and then that really entails is that the suffering will always follow the cause of suffering and happiness will always <coughs> follow the cause of happiness. So there are the three types of suffering that we have been, sorry, there's the three types of poisons, uh, the cause, uh, poisons of attachment, aversion and ignorance that we have been accumulated for a long time. So does it mean that we will always suffer because we've accumulated so much uh, karma due to those three poisons? Uh, well, this is not the case because uh, besides the two noble truths, the Buddha also taught another two noble truths. So he taught the four noble truths. And just now what we have talked about are those two noble truths. The, sec the third and the fourth noble truth are the truth of cessation, cessation of suffering, and the fourth noble truth is the truth of the path that leads to the happiness. So what we need to know is that we need to know how to activate, how to actualize the, this happiness that the Buddha is talking about. And we need to know how to attain it. So in order to attain it, we need to then enter the path of practicing the Dharma. We need to actually enter the path where we can practice the Dharma, which is the remedy, the remedy to those uh, three poisons, the tr those three major type of afflictions. So if we were to enter the path of Dharma practice, and we practice uh, bodhicitta, or we practice loving kindness, we practice the mind of altruism that to benefit others, then through that, we will be able to get exactly according to through the practice of the profound Dharma, 
we will be able to exactly uh, get to remove the three poisons. If when we continuously practice the path, as it every as the path of the Dharma continues, as our journey in the practice of the Dharma continues, the karma and the afflictions we have accumulated in the past will become uh, less and less. They will become thinner and thinner. And this is what we call the path of purification. And the more purification that we go through, then the more happiness we can get. We, then we can get this what we call the authentic happiness. Otherwise, uh, there is no other way out of this suffering. But we will, it is not the case that we will always suffer. We, what we need to know is that we need to know uh, the nature of this suffering so that we can abandon the cause of suffering. And when we abandon the cause of suffering, then of course then there will be no results. There can be no results without the cause. And then if there's no cause of suffering, then of course then the state of being free from suffering is what we call happiness. So basically this all covered in the Four Noble Truths. And uh, in order to achieve happiness, we need to study uh, the process of karma. We need to know the Dharma. And uh, we need to engage in the process of studying uh, reflection and meditation. And then we will have uh, then also be able to generate faith in the more and more faith in this practice. And then that will also make us. Uh, improve our practice and through uh, the gradual stages of the practice we can then uh, stop uh, suffering and we achieve happiness so this is by relying on this uh, remedy of the dharma practice that we can be free from suffering and achieve true happiness <laughs> Gundy, so um, this is what the uh, explanation on the cause and effects are about. Uh, the, there are two kinds of basically uh, main categories of uh, karma, the virtuous karma that lead to uh, happy results and bad karma that leads to suffering, uh, the, what we call bad results. So uh, this, this, are the, this covers the whole topic in overall and uh, so tomorrow we will look at uh, Sunny Kondam. Sunny. Uh -huh. So this this is a complete. This is summarize the whole topic, and uh, we will continue to look at it again tomorrow. So nam di tamje se bangi tamlingi be tanam pamje ne kega na che palam chuba sibe chule chuba chuba. Sorry, the last part I didn't memorize properly, but it's just a summary. Tagindi tamadiro, 